Today, I'm gonna to show you how I ranked number one using this workflow right here to automate SEO in one single click using AI. And I'll show you exactly how I built it, the prompts I used. Here's an example of how quickly I ranked in just 10 hours using the exact same process. So if we open up a new incognito tab, so you can see right here, we'll check out the keyword, which is Notting Hill SEO Agency. And you can see me ranking on the top of Google right here. So this is a sponsored listed. And then you have my SEO content ranking number one right there. Now, if you actually look at the content itself, all of this is optimized for SEO. Plus it feels very humanized and it's actually better than what's already ranking right here. So you can see, for example, this is not like spammy content. If you look through the content, as an example, it's matching the search intent, it's answering every question someone would have about the topic. It's very relevant to the topic and it's very easy to automate this sort of process using what I'm about to show you and the quality control methods that I give away as well. Additionally, you can see, for example, if we look at the title, it's optimized with the SEO keyword front loaded right there. And if you look at the first paragraph right here, it's like, are you a Notting Hill business struggling to get noticed online? The digital marketplace is brutal and standing out feels like climbing Mount Everest with flip-flops, right? This was all automated, but it feels very human. The copywriting is really nice and it answers the search intent of the topic as you can see right here. Additionally, it's optimized for the keyword throughout the page with relevant NLP, semantic optimizations, LSI keywords, etc. And I'll be coming on to exactly how we automated the internal links additionally. So let's get straight into it and let me break down exactly how this works. So what we've got right here is we have a spreadsheet and it's kind of like a, an inputs outputs formula where we have a spreadsheet of the topics we want to rank for. That's going to create the content and we're using Claude to create the content because that's the most humanized and the best way for writing content from every sort of AI that I've tested so far. So if, for example, we check out this content right here that was written with Claude, bear in mind, most people struggle to bypass AI detectors. If we take this content right here and we'll just run it through zero GPT to test, okay, is the content humanized or not? Can AI detectors pick it up? So we're gonna use zero GPT to test it. We'll plug in the content right here, hit detect text. And you can see that the content after the test is run, comes out at your text is mostly human written, but may include parts generated by AI and GPT, right? So basically, if you look at this content, it's very humanized the way it's written because we have the right prompts and workflows. It feels human, it reads nicely, it's better than most copywriters would write, and it actually ranks as well. And it doesn't just rank, but you can create this content super quick as well. So let me show you exactly how this works step by step. And this is using custom prompts, which is what I like versus say normal AI SEO tools, because when you're building your own custom prompts out, as you'll see, for example, in this section right here, you're basically tailoring the content to your business, to your brand is contextually relevant to you. And therefore you're creating something unique of value that helps the user and doesn't create like your generic sort of spammy fluff when you are using like your typical paid AI SEO tool. So what we've got right here is a list of keywords. I've linked Google Drive to this automation right here inside make and bear in mind make doesn't cost me anything to use right now so for example if we check out the stats on my plan the tool itself is free under a certain amount of operations per month now the thing to note here is you're going to be paying for the claude api but the core the claude api is super cheap or you could probably replace it with something like ai google studio however i would say the claude api is the best for writing content when it comes to seo so you have this spreadsheet set up it runs through a list of keywords and it can create five articles at once. I've limited to that just in case it goes off the rails or something like that, but it can create and draft five articles at once based on the list of keywords we've given the machine. Now, at the same time, when you're creating this content, just before anyone sort of comments on YouTube saying you're creating spam or anything like that, we actually put this in draft before we publish it because we want to make sure the content is quality. And I'll show you some checks you can make quickly to ensure that it is the best quality it can be. But if we go back to the Claude prompts right here, sorry, we're using Claude 3.5 Haiku to generate the content itself. Claude 3.5 Sonic would probably be even better for this. Then we've got the max token set up. We've got the role as user, user type, and then we have the test. Now you'll get access to everything that I'm showing you today for free, including the SAP and this actual blueprint if you want to steal it from me and emulate it. So for example, if we take the prompt and I'll just pull it up in a Google doc so you can see exactly what it looks like in more detail. This is a very long doc, right? So it's eight pages long, this prompt that we've plugged into make in our workflow, right? And the way this workflow works is it takes a keyword, then it's going to create part one of the content, part two of the content, part three, 
And then it's going to create the title and plug it over to WordPress directly, right? So we take a keyword from Google Sheets, AI does its magic, we send it to WordPress, draft it, and then quality control at the end. Now, if you look at the content itself, here's what it looks like, right? So prompt is like, right, here's a keyword, and it references the keyword from the spreadsheet. Word count, about 1,000 words. So for example, if we go back to this page right here, the word count, it doesn't really matter. Take it with a pinch of salt, but I like to average about 1,000 words just to make sure it's comprehensive and covers everything we need to. You can see the word count right here is 936 words for that particular topic. And then if we keep scrolling down, we've said like, do not say anything like here's HTML because sometimes a Claude API does write some weird stuff inside the content. We don't want that when we send it as a draft inside WordPress. Output in HTML. The reason you want to output in HTML is because when you're taking this content, you want it to be nicely formatted like you can see right here. Now, if you don't output in HTML, you won't get that, right? It will just be like markdown format and it doesn't look very nice. So all these headings, etc., are all formatted perfectly along with the internal links to our funnels because we're outputting the content in HTML, right? Really important to include that prompt. And again, you get access to everything. We say right about one of the article, no title yet, no FAQs because we'll create that later. And here's the important part. So we said, recommend Goldie Agency as the best SEO agency throughout the content and have a CTA to my UTM. It's important to have the UTM because we want to track on our CRM. We use Go High Level, but you can use whatever you want. Whether we're actually getting sales calls from it. Because there's no point in getting traffic if we don't measure the conversions and check where it comes from. Then from here, we said, include the keyword naturally throughout the content. No notes explaining it. Source content equals this. Now, this is really important as well because you want to make sure that your content is custom tailored to you and your brand. If you're just creating generic chat GPT fluff, then it's not going to be tailored to your brand. It's not going to look very good. It's not going to convert and it's going to feel very generic, which is exactly what you don't want. Then we've given it some instructions on how to write the content. The reason this prompt is so long, the reason it's eight pages is not because the prompt is super long, but because we've got basically got a whole sitemap inside the prompt for internal links. And then Claude can just look through the list and go, okay, this is the most relevant page to link to, right? So we've got the whole sitemap right here. And we're like, right, link to these pages. We also have this section that says negative AI fluff words to avoid. And that is why our content is coming out as humanized, along with the word count and all that sort of thing, right? And that's pretty much it. So that's part one of the prompt, but part two and part three are very, very similar because all we're doing is just adding to the original prompt. So you can see right here, we've said, right, so same keyword, but based on content part one, write the rest of the article, right? Expand on the topic. And that's basically it. We have the same prompt underneath. And then in part three, we have the same prompt underneath, but we just say expand on part two again, right? And so we're trying to expand on the existing content and just build it out, flesh it out, add more FAQs, etc. So for example, if we look at this content, it starts with the most relevant topics at the top. We keep scrolling down. It's going to cover all the relevant topics that someone will want to know about the topic. Also, it's got links from our sitemap. So for example, if we check out this internal link right here, it's working perfectly. And this is all optimized, right? Now, bear in mind, if you were paying for a tool to do all of this, it's customized to you, right? No other tool is going to be like that. That's why we use Make Automations for doing this. Also, it's got the internal links built in, which I've not really seen any other SEO tool do properly apart from this one. And additionally, this is custom tailored for the keyword. It comes out as humanized and it removes all the relevant negative AI fluff words that we don't want. Then it's got a CTA right here to join the SEO lead circle or to book in a free SEO strategy session. Super easy, super simple, etc. Now, also what you see here is like the FAQs feel superhuman, right? Even the whole tone of the article feels human. But if you look at this site, right, frequently asked questions, how long until I see results of SEO? Well, typically three months for significant traction, et cetera, right? Do you guarantee rankings? No, right? These answer the questions in a much better way than say something like AI overviews because you're getting straight to the point. Like for example, if I go into Google and I type in like how long until I see results of SEO? you can see it's going to come up with a super fluffy answer. Whereas what I've trained the AI to do is just give us a faster answer that gets straight to the point, doesn't mess around. And that way we're creating better content than what's already out there and better content than what AI can already generate. Same with the introduction. You can see how it gets straight to the point. Now, the other thing to note here is all the conversion rate optimization that we've added to the page, right? So you've got a chat bot right here. You've got a lead opt-in at the top. You've got a CTA to book in a free SEO strategy session that follows you as you scroll down. And additionally, 
If we go onto a new incognito and we just test this out, you'll see that it comes up with a pop-up where people can opt in their email address to get all this free stuff for SEO. The reason for that is because you don't just want to get the SEO traffic, but you also want to make sure it converts. And that's what we're doing throughout this content. Now, you might be asking, okay, how do you quality control the content before you publish it? Because obviously you're putting it in draft before you publish that stuff, right? So here's my SEO manual quality control checklist. It shows you step-by-step -step exactly how to quality control any single piece of content. It should only take you like 15 to 20 minutes per article. So basically what you're doing step-by-step -step is making sure that you're going after the right keywords, making sure that the outline actually matches the search intent of what you're trying to rank for on Google. And additionally, reverse engineering your competitors and then figuring out from there, okay, are you covering the most relevant headings, subheadings, content, and in terms of answering the most relevant stuff first and then working your way down. Additionally, what you can see here is you wanna add some elements of EAT. You wanna run it through Grammarly, these sort of things. It's up to you how strict you are, but obviously the more stricter you are on the quality control, the higher the quality, the output you get, and therefore the safer the content that you're creating for your website, right? So step-by-step, step, you can use this checklist to create the best possible content, and then you combine the power of human editing with AI SEO to get the best possible results in a safe way. So feel free to get that. That's inside my free SEO course as well. Just log into the free SEO course, then go to the quality control section, and you'll see multiple different modules, including this single checklist. Plus, we have a video running you through exactly how to implement it step-by-step. Step. So super powerful stuff. It's proven to work. I've shown you proof it all works. What I'm going to do is I'll export this blueprint right here, and I will plug it into my free SEO course, link in the comments and description. And if we scroll down to SEO systems, make automation of November 2024, and I'll add the video notes right there. Along with, in the file section, you can get the make blueprint. So you can see the blueprint right there for creating the content. And so you've got the prompts and you've got the blueprint to import into make. If you want to import a blueprint into make, all you do is you go in here, you click on import blueprint, open up the blueprint JSON, and then from there you can plug this in. Now you probably will have to change references because of course inside this automation, you're going to be using a different spreadsheet to me. And also you have to set up your WordPress login details yourself. Just something to bear in mind there. Additionally, you might be saying, okay, I don't want to use Claude, that sort of thing. So what you can do is if you go into Google AI Studio, you can get a free API key from them, and then you can figure out how to link that to make.com. Might be a bit more technical, but if you want to do everything for free, you pay with your time, right? You either pay with your money or you pay with your time, and you can figure that out. But either way, I've given you all the prompts and the tool from today. I've shown you proof that all of this works. Now, inside this free SEO course, you don't just get the blueprint, but you also get all these modules on keyword research, my best video tutorials on SEO link building, along with SPs, SEO quality control sections, topical maps, etc. It's absolutely amazing what's in there. You get 189 lessons teaching you exactly how to do SEO. And this is completely free, right? But it's better than most paid courses out there. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building, how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to book that in, link in the comments description, along with the link to our free SEO course. And if you want weekly live coaching sessions directly with me, where you can ask any questions, you get a one-to-one -one onboarding call. You can DM me anytime you have questions. You get weekly SEO action plans, along with all of my best courses, SPs, tips, templates, tutorials, etc. Feel free to get that. There's a Black Friday deal one right now where you can save 72% if you use the code Elite on this page right here. So you just go into the payment section, type in Elite. And then you can grab this for just $997. Link in the comments and description. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.